Welcome back to the second map here between Team Epidemic and MIA for the number nine spot on the TWL ladder. I am your host, Doc Lettuce. Joining me is Apple Juice. Uh, we saw Epidemic take the first map on Crossfire 5-0, and we have moved on to Rain Dance. If they take this, they will take over the number nine spot. But let's see if MIA can respond with a victory. Uh, Juice, you, I know you predicted a 5-0 from before, but does that still stand? Absolutely. Alright, well, no faith whatsoever in this MIA team. That's a bit of a shame on you. <clears throat> but I still do. I think they'll get a cap in. I will believe. As the map does get underway, I'll give you guys a quick roster rundown on Blood Eagle. We have Epidemic with DJ Faith, Blue Jay, Trism GG, Alakabon, Mike Axe, 2, Moog, Lion, GG. And on Diamond Sword, we have MIA with Engage, 76, Professor Fast, Vornsker, Voss, Augur, Guru, Izzy, and Amur. Um, so Rain Dance is a much bigger map. Uh, I think this will allow MIA's cappers to do a little bit more work and possibly get away because sniping is a bit tougher than on Crossfire. Uh, so I think we're at least going to see a bit of a longer map, uh, if, if not just because the map is bigger and it'll take their cappers time as well. Uh, but I think we'll, we might even get to see a standoff of some sort in this game because the MIA cappers were really doing pretty good work last round. Uh, it was just a matter of dealing with that sniper, and if the sniper misses a couple shots on this map, they'll probably be away home. Uh, your thoughts? Uh, it's it takes a lot of coordination, I think, to clear the stand on this on this map. Just because uh, you can see cappers coming from so far away. Uh, it's uh, although with the new spotting changes, that may not be the same. But we've seen a lot of good teams have problems getting just even getting the flag off the stand because of the way the defense is arranged. So honestly, I don't know if MIA has a, has enough coordination to take out this this uh, epidemic defense, but. I have been wrong before. Well, let's take a look at this Epidemic defense. They do have a Lacabon on the Sniper. They've got Moog playing the Hoff. Uh, and I believe Blue Jay is going to be a stay-at-home... Looks like he's going to be running Technician. So that's certainly interesting. They only have to really clear the Hoff out. Um, that's... I think that leave that's got good potential for them. They don't really have a Chaser to deal with at this point. Uh, so they just, if they manage to, you know, they have to kill two people, and then they're pretty much away free with the flag. I think that's doable. Uh, but we'll see, I guess, as you mentioned. Uh, on the other side, we do have, what is it, Amur setting up here with Augur, who just suicides, and Voss, I believe, is staying at home as well. Uh, so Soldier, Pathfinder, and Sniper. So they are running with a three defense, four offense strategy again. Uh, that seems to be commonplace for pretty much every team. Uh, I haven't seen any cappers really coming in here for Epidemic. I wonder if they were just taking out the generators, taking out the turrets, and there we go. There are the two cappers coming in now. Trism GG and Mike X2 are going to be coming in. Amur is the only one on the stand. Both of the cappers are at low health, though. And Mike X2 is the only one that gets a grab off, and he does go down. Trism GG missed it and just gets sniped down by Augur viciously. That was nasty. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Epidemic's cappers can manage to deal with this. Uh, because no Hoff means that the Mortar Spam that we saw earlier isn't really going to do all that much because they don't need to be on the stand. They're more of a preventative rather than a I'm going to block you with my Hoff type stuff. So I think it's going to be a much more interesting game. I don't think it's going to be easy at all for either team to break it as we see Claymores coming up from a Lacabon now. But those are pretty easy to take out. So the defense has actually looked somewhat, I wouldn't say weak, but vulnerable for both teams. Ah, here we go. Force Field making it a bit tougher. Uh, but I expect... You know, I'd expected to see a grab at least by now with almost th two and three and a half minutes gone, rather. Um, your thoughts? Uh, Mike X just grabbed the flag there. He had some good uh, distraction from Lion GG. He has about 700 health going 300 kilometers an hour. He's going to get away. I don't see anybody catching him up now as Voss is attempting to do so. And a more probably with lightweight there. I don't know if they're going to make it in time. They're pretty low health, and he's all the way back at his base, just coming over the final hill here on the uh, left side of his base. Professor Fastborns, Kagurizzi, and Engage are all crashing the flag as Engage grabs it and goes into that little, uh, I don't know, flag stand cave there. He dies, though. Professor Fast is trying to do anything. Voss is also there. Flag gets dropped. Wow, Voss taking out Mike Axe, too, and returns it midair. Nice job there. Uh, flag crashing by MIA. They were able to get the return, even though the flag was... Honestly, anybody could have capped that, as uh, Trism GG grabs the flag. 
uh, and trying to get away. He's not going to get very far, though. He has 250 health being chained down. Von Vornsk and Amor right next to him. He's down to 29, and... No? Yeah, there we go. Amor takes him out with a Nitron. Uh, on the other side, the flag for Epidemic is actually inside their base, so that's not going anywhere for another 10 seconds. But, um... Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that the Epidemic... They, they're... Timing seems to be a little bit off right now. They, I think at this point, since there is no HOF, they should probably send a couple soldiers or, uh, what am I call it, raiders, that's it, as uh, Lion G is, or Lion GG is, and uh, just make sure that there's nobody on the stand, like, right now. Yeah, but their cappers, as you can see in the back of your screen now, are nowhere close. Uh, I really liked that defense from MIA. They really crashed the stand a lot nicer than... Uh, I've seen a lot of teams do on this map. A lot of teams elect to leave a couple people behind in case they don't make it to prevent that continuation. But they really just said, you know what, we're going to crash it. And, you know, they got the return. It was a really nice play by them. Uh, I was pretty surprised to see it as Mike Axe 2 is coming in now. Only Amur. Amur does not get the Pathfinder or Nitron off. He does kill himself instead. And Mike Axe 2 is out. He's got 700 health, basically, and going 300. He's going to make it home. We need to see another stand crash from MIA here. For them to have a chance at preventing this cap he takes a bit of a roundabout route so they do have some time to get there we see a moore is coming in professor fast is there in the heavy as well but those are the only two this is likely going to be the first cap i don't see them being able to do anything a moore misses the flag he does get it gets it off the stand but it's quickly returned and there's the one zero cap trism gg in the meantime is making a continuation grab a nice shot from voss takes him down really low he's probably not going to survive auger is going to get a snipe off oh instead he just kills himself um, I guess he was trying to punt it, and the flag flew right into the hill or something thereof, and that led to a quick return. Um, so, 102 Epidemic. Uh, it's taken a lot longer than on Crossfire, so some good defense here by MIA coming out. Uh, it was a shame to just see a moor on the flag stand there. I think if anyone else had been there, they would have been able to prevent that cap. Uh, but some nice clearing and distracting going on from the Epidemic offense prevented that from happening. Uh, so we are going to take a look here at the Epidemic flag stand this time. I want to see how they're setting up their defenses. We see a mine is there. We've got a force field there at low health. I don't see any other mines, uh, but that is a very sneaky mine that's hard to spot. So the clearers are going to have to be very careful. There's no mines placed inside. Uh, just a lack bond in the HOF at this point. They could even... You know, this could be cleared pretty easily, but instead, Trism is going to go ahead and get out with the flag. He's going very quickly, 320. He was doing a side-to-side -side there, and he's probably going to make it all the way back to his base engage, trying to make a little bit of an e-grab, but not going to happen. Professor Fast is going to pick it up, though, from the field. He's going to buy them some time to get this flag back. He's surviving fairly long, so this is more than enough time for MIA to get some people on the stand or escort him as they're doing now. Guru Izzy is there, but gets sniped down. Professor Fast is still making it out, though, man. He's got 900 health. Ah, there comes a snipe. He's down to 400. He needed to punt it, and he didn't, and Blue Jay is going to get the return, and Trism's going to make this a 2-0 game. Uh, the, unfortunately, for MIA there, escort just sort of disappeared there, and no one really came in to reinforce them. Uh, I guess they were just staying at home just to make sure that Nothing else happened in case they did get the flag back, but unfortunately it cost them the cap, making it 2-0, so uh, that does seem a little bit like an insurmountable lead since they haven't really gotten the flag off the stand all that much, uh, but you never know. I mean, it's still 17 minutes. There's plenty of time to adjust and change their strategy, so yeah, what are you seeing that you like out of uh, Team Epidemic here? Uh, Lion, uh, Lion is really timing his kills on Amor a lot better. Uh, to go with his cappers, because while, while Voss is a decent player, it seems he's not able to to solo stop two cappers, as anybody would say. It's kind of difficult to do, and Lion GG's just doing a whole lot better along with DJ Faith, and wow, there we go. DJ Faith with one grenade takes out both defenders. Flag completely clear, and there's Trism GG with grab. See, that timing right there is what's winning them the game, and I don't see it on the MIA side quite the same. They're not able to take out uh, those guys on the stand and free it up for their cappers. And their cappers can only do so much. I mean, you go in there, you shoot, and you hope that the defense doesn't do something special as Trism comes in making a... Th oh, no! Gets taken out on the stand. And Engage tried to get the return. Didn't. Vornsk is doing a little e-grab. He's not going to get anywhere. That was a Raider chained down by Moog, and the flag is going to be returned. This could be the 3-0. Yes, there we go. I spoke too soon there. Great job by... Uh, MIA to, to extend it a little bit, but they just couldn't take advantage of it in return. And the score 
is that much closer to being over now. Yep, just two more caps will put uh, Team Epidemic in the 2-0 victory spot, and they will take over the number 9 uh, ranking on the TWL ladder. But uh, it's still not over yet. There's 15 minutes left to go, so it's entirely possible MIA could at least put a cap on the board here. Um, but yeah, this this setup seems to be fairly vulnerable here for Epidemic, but they just don't seem to be able to crack it. I, I do want to take a look at it and just sort of watch th and see what happens here, because I really think they should be able to. I mean, a Heavy with a Mortar should be able to take care of that force field, and then it's all in the snipers. Uh, it must be a Lakbon doing his job, taking out the cappers before they even get close. But I don't get to watch this, and as Mike Axe 2 is making a grab, and he's getting out. He's got 300 health, though. Augur could make a snipe and take him out, but no, I think he's broken line of sight now. Uh, there are three people there that could turn around and start shooting at him, and there's some fire coming in now from Professor Fast Engage. Could turn around and also make this a bit more interesting. Mike Axe at 120 health engage going in for the flag and said he should have turned around and taken out Mike Axe, but Professor Fast gets a nice chain gun down on him, and the flag is down on the field. It's going to be picked up here by Blue Jay. He's going up. Professor Fast is coming in here. Guru Izzy with the E-grab getting away when no one's looking, uh, but he's not going to make it very far. He's going down. He does drop, and this will likely be returned as well as capped, and there we go. 4-0. For Epidemic MIA making it interesting there at the end with some nice chain gun fire. Unfortunately, they just weren't able to capitalize, and we do have a 4-0. Have you watched the Epidemic flag stand at all to see why MIA is having such problems uh, clearing out just uh, one or two guys? Uh, one of the things I noticed is that their sniper is on the opposite hill from the um, from the flag stand, so it's making it really hard for them to take everybody out at the exact same time. And uh, considering that their sniper is re really pretty decent, they usually have to send one or two guys in, that, you know, to just to keep him from doing anything. At this point, it's Vornska right now. I think who's going to go try to take on Al Alcabon. Blue Jay is playing a little bit off the flag, um, just to make sure that he damages any guys trying to spam the HOF. As Trism GG coming back with the flag, he's a little over halfway home. Going to try to make it back. He has 610 health. He is now back at the bases. Engage grab the flag for MIA, trying to get away. He passes it off to Guru Izzy. Guru Izzy has the flag. He has two people around him. A little bit of chain gun fire. Sniper shot hits him. He's down to 330 health. He is down oh, uh, under the hill. Oh, Alec Mon, though, right there. You can still see him. Nobody took him out. He was really low. Somebody could take him out. They could have gotten away as both him and Engage. Oh, Alec Mon gets there first. And now Trizen has the easy 5-0 cap. I don't see anybody from MIA coming in. There we go, 2-0. 5-0, 2-0, and Epidemic wins it. Yep, Epidemic will be taking over the number 9 spot on the TWL ladder now. Well played by them, triumphing 5-0 on both maps, Crossfire and Rain Dance. MIA put up a brave fight, but in the end, they weren't enough for the still overpowered snipers. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, any last thoughts here before we wrap this up? I believe my prediction was spot on. Indeed it was. Um, I personally feel like Alakbon was the main reason the Epidemic defense held so strongly. I mean, he was dominating in both maps. He did his job very, very well. He doesn't have as many kills as you would normally expect out of the pre-nerf snipers, but he certainly was sniping at the right times. Um, so, yeah, well played by MIA. They certainly made it interesting for uh, more than a couple of the grabs. Uh, it's a shame they didn't put up quite as much of a fight on Rain Dance. Um, but Alak Bomb was just really good at taking out their cappers before they got in, so props to him and Team Epidemic for uh, for sweeping. And um, that will be all from uh, us. You have been watching the Yodelcast. I am Doc Lettuce. Joining me was Apple Juice. You just watched Team Epidemic triumph 2-0 over Team MIA, giving them the number 9 ranking on the TWL ladder. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and have a great night.